So Beatrice, a lot of people want to get her on the report because she gives the island heart at, at friendly level and she gives some stats and charisma push at the end. But the important part is the island heart. You also get some gold in the beginning, but you get this pretty easily uh, to start off the neutral once you get to 50 to all stats of so charisma, wisdom, uh, courage, and kindness. And you need to complete the quest Destiny Led by Light, which is part of the main quest. So once you get the first arc, you'll get this quest and you complete it. But here are the how much EXP you need for the level. I'll post this website in the description down below. And here are the possible songs and the emotes. I'll go over to where to get those in a bit. And here are the preferred gifts. So here's the list as well. So you can go down the list, get the, down below. The Fragrant Peach, um, you need Courage 150 to actually be able to use it. But this gives the most for the purples. And these are all mostly claimed as the same, right? For the orange and then uh, the dark orange here. 5,000 is the only difference with the crown here. And everyone else is 10K. So... Uh, go regarding these report items you want to go to your stronghold because most of these you can easily get from your stronghold just like going there and going to the merchant right, so there is some report stuff that you can get just from going to your trade merchant like there's this uh, holy water there's a repair set glacial beer if you have it upgraded you get more slots obviously so keep running those dispatches and get those sealed and then you can get some reports here this is one of the easier ways to get report items by the way so the song of starlight you get that song from completing the chain quest that's actually on starlight isle right the 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 island right here there's the whole chain quest that'll probably take you like many different places and you do want to be level 50 to actually complete the whole thing so make sure you get that done and then for the next song, which is the Song of Temptation, is actually in the Adventures Tomb. You need 50% in the Yuria content, a continent. And um, I pretty much did these by like finding the hidden stories and um, these hidden another story quests that are here, the vistas, stuff like that. Um, this NPC I believe is in. Let's see if we go to Yuria, we can go to I believe this one. There's an NPC right there for that first one. And then the second one is on here and I believe is in... I have it written down somewhere. It's, oh, it's over here. <laughs> Around this area right here. So just go do, do those quests. This I think this gives a, a decent chunk. And it gives you some stats, some courage that you probably need for other NPCs, by the way. Alright, for the emotes, Prey emote, you get it through the main storyline, I believe, the Mirai Ruins quest. So that's in Satellite Hill, also in Yudia. So after you get that quest, you get the Prey emote. And then the next the next emote is actually the Stretch emote, right? And you have to go to Restu Terra. It's 70%, so this is going to be kind of a grind here. I went through the auto mask. The monsters, all the Vista, <laughs> just kind of the dungeons. Uh, there's this boss that you can wait a bit if you go to... See, let's go to West Lutera here to this forest. It spawns right here. It doesn't move. I think it spawns like about every hour or so. So uh, you can just go AFK there, wait a bit. Uh, it'll spawn. It's pretty fairly easy, especially when you're level 50. <laughs> so uh, that's the spot right there. I believe with these hidden stories. So the first one here, the heart and gravestone, it should be in... So you go west to Terra, go to Mount Zargoas, and it should the NPC should be right around here. And then I believe the next one is in Lake Bar, and that's uh, the Phobus guy. I think he's right here, somewhere around here. So those are the two the hidden stories. Uh, story, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of YouTube videos you can go look through that, uh, and, and that should get you the 70, and that should give you enough of the the daily necessities to go to Beatrice. There are also the report quests that are locked by higher levels of RP points that you need. So here are the quests that Beatrice will t tell you to do in Garden of a Report. And uh, you won't be able to like give gifts or anything once you hit these thresholds, right? So the first threshold is gonna be the 141 where you need 140 of everything. 
and then after that you need 180 and then that you can pretty much finish the rest of uh, Beatrice because you when you get to the point where you have to actually do a report quest to actually give more gifts that's when it blocks you so uh, once you get to this point you probably have to get more charisma potions and stuff like that and there's if you press to your codex by pressing alt D you can actually look up charisma potion here and can tell you all the places that you kind of can get charisma potion. You can do the reports. There's some quests here that you can probably do, adventure tombs. So this is very helpful with the codex if you need some more charisma. I need a lot more because I currently have like 112, <laughs> uh, 114 and then everything is like 200. So hopefully this helps you out. Just a little summary of what features kind of need. Um, I can go over all the other ones if you guys want. Let me know which NPC you guys want me to do. And uh, I do stream on Twitch. So come by if you have any questions. And with that, later days.